Here we are, mid-November, and we finally had our first light frost. It got down to 32 a couple of days ago. Um, I still have lettuce under a row cover in the garden and uh, parsnips that got lightly frosted. I may be waiting till another hard frost for those. I have a couple carrots still under row covers also, and I have my broccoli, which I'm going to um, harvest today. And I'm going to take you along as I uncover and see what they look like. So here is my bed. And the, and the crop looks spectacular. I'm very, very, very pleased. I am definitely going to grow broccoli as a late fall crop. Fall crop gardening is new to me. Um, I've only grown lettuce in the past. Um, don't know why I haven't bro grown brassicas in the, into the fall. But this year on about um, mid-July, I started some more seed uh, in my my grow area downstairs in my basement and then I transplanted the seedlings out here and they've been um, uh, doing very nicely under this row cover being protected from um, the pests the cabbage moss and the little and the little uh, cabbage worms that uh, just love to feast on the brassicas so let's see what kind of heads I have here this first one looks pretty good. I decided to start harvesting them because the buds are beginning to swell a bit. I still like the nice tight, tight head of cabbage. Now, how does that look? Wow. Excellent. Now, I'm not gonna pull out the plants. I'm going to leave them here in this bed. I'll cover them back up with the row cover. We are not, we're supposed to have another night of low 30s, but then I think we're in for a couple weeks or so of the high 30s, low 40s. So I could possibly still get some sprouts on some of these that have, um, that I've cut out. Um, they usually, you can see this, they usually start popping out at the junctions here at the axis of the, the leaf and the main stem. And so maybe I can hope for a couple additional sprouts. Okay, here's another small yet nice. And this, the buds are starting to swell a little bit. So it's probably the best time to pick this one also. Let me take you down here. I apologize for the rustling in the leaves. Now this guy is quite a large head. He's looking really good. Let's see if I can get him. Yes. How do you like that guy? What a specimen. I have to tell you, I am so jazzed about this crop. Not only do I like broccoli, but the fact that I'm harvesting at this time of the year really is quite a treat for me. So I'm next year definitely in the works, in the plans to do more brassicas as a fall crop in addition to a spring crop. I will get them earlier in my garden than I did this past year. We come to this side and we have a, another one right here on the smaller side. But still, oh, can you see that? There you go. Still luscious. Here, this in one of my other videos, I, sh I showed you this was a volunteer tomato. And it obviously did not like the frost that we had. This one, a little tiny, but still worth picking. 
Here's one. Nice size. There you go. Very beautiful. And another. Now on this particular one in here, you can see I have these little shoots here. I had something, you can zero in there. Actually, either something bit this off or I accidentally um, knocked off the leader of this broccoli. But you can see that I have four nice little florets that are gonna be just nice and tender. Actually, there turned out to be five in here. That's perfect. Here's another one here, and I'm more than likely thinking it was some sort of um, animal or something that came along and, and topped that for me because I have a couple lateral sprouts here that I will pick off. Here is one more. There we go. This one doesn't seem to have anything on it. That's another one that probably suffered some kind of damage. Pardon for the, the camera action here. It's a little shaky. It's hard to cut heads of broccoli off and film at the same time. Here is my harvest. I started out with um, 12, I think 12 plants in this garden. It looked like three of them had their, their tops nibbled off, so I didn't get a large head. But I am very pleased with the results of this harvest. And so everybody should definitely try to get in a fall harvest. Um, brassicas work very well because in the cold, they seem to thrive definitely better than in the heat. So thank you for following me along on this harvest. Uh, subscribe if you uh, like my content, share, and uh, click that bell if you wanna be notified when I post up another video. Thanks for following. See you next video. Bye.